Hello everyone, welcome back to Widget Wisdom. Today we are diving into the world of Flutter web and desktop applications. Flutter is well known for its mobile capabilities, but did you know it can also build responsive web and desktop applications with the same code base? So, by the end of this video, you will understand the setup, basics, and how to build your first Flutter web and desktop application. So let's get started. First, let's understand why Flutter has become a go-to option for web and desktop development. So, with a single code base, you can create a high performance applications across mobile, web and desktop. Imagine a scenario where you build an app for Android and iOS and you can run it in a browser or as a desktop app without rewriting the code. This not only saves time but also helps maintaining a consistent experience. To start with Flutter web and desktop, open the Android Studio. Then, while creating the project, please make sure to check on web and desktop option. Now just tap on this finish button and here you go. Now our this app can run on web and desktop. So here in the lib folder, we will keep all code shared across platforms and the platform specific files like configuration files and additional assets will go into each platform's folder such as web, windows or mac OS. So we will start simple by creating a home screen widget in main.dart file to serve as the entry point for our web and desktop apps. So from here, First remove this my homepage widget and then create a new stateless widget as home screen and then call this widget from the my app widget. Now let's first complete this home screen widget. So here first add a scaffold widget then add an app bar widget with a title of home screen and then add a body with the center widget and add a text widget with the message of welcome to flutter web and desktop. Now let's run this app. So for that first select the chrome browser and then tap on this run button and here you go our first flutter web app is running successfully now let's run this app on the desktop so i'm using a mac so i'll select the mac os and then tap on this run button and here you go our app is running on the desktop as well so now we have successfully created our first flutter web and desktop app now we can also detect if the app is running on the web windows or mac os and customize certain features accordingly so let's first add the detection for web so for detecting the web platform we can use the case web constant from the foundation package so first import the foundation package and then add a check for case web and then add a text widget with the message of running on the web else add the same message as before now let's run this app on the web and here you can see our app is running on the web now let's add the detection for the desktop so for that first add a function is desktop and then return the value of k is web and platform is window or platform is mac os or platform is linux so this function will return true if the app is running on the desktop now come inside the build method and then here add another check for is desktop and then add a text widget with the message of welcome to flutter desktop now let's run this app on the desktop and here you can see our app is running successfully on the desktop and it is showing the message of welcome to flutter desktop so this is how we can detect the platform and customize the features accordingly now that we have basic understanding of flutter web and desktop application now let's quickly create a simple to do app for the web and desktop so first create a new file as to do dot dot and then create a class as to do with three properties id title and is completed and then create a constructor with these property and here make is complete property as optional with the default value of false so the reason for making is completed optional is that when we create a new to do it will be marked as incomplete by default now come back to the main.dart file and then here create a new stateful widget as to do example and then call this widget from the my app widget now let's complete this to do example widget so first create a list of to do's and initialize it as an empty list then come inside the build method and then add a scaffold widget then add an app bar widget with the title of to do example and then add a body with the column widget so here I want to show the list of to do's at the top. So first add a list view builder widget, then add the item count as to do's dot length because we want to show the number of to do's in the list. Then add the shrink wrap property to true. And the reason for adding the shrink wrap is that it will take only the required space. 
and then add the item builder and here first get the to do from the to do's list using the index then return a list style widget with the title as to do dot title and then add a style property with a ternary operator so if the to do is complete then add a text decoration as line through else null and then add a trailing property with the checkbox widget so when the value of the checkbox changes then set the state and then update the is complete property of the to do with the checkboxes value then here add a expand widget with an empty container so this expand widget will take the remaining space between the list of to dos and the text field then add a row widget with the two children so first add an expanded widget with a text field and then add a decoration with a hint text of enter a to do then add an elevated button with a on pressed property and then set the state and then add this value as a new to do in the to do's list and after the to do is added then we need to clear the text field so for that first create a text editing controller and then add this controller to the text field and then clear the controller after adding the to do then add the child as the text widget with a message of add to do now let's run this app in the browser and here you go our to do app is running successfully now let's create few to dos like first to do then tap on the add to do button then add one more to do like second to do and then tap on the add to do button and here you can see our to dos are added successfully and we can also mark the to do as complete by tapping on the checkbox and after marking the to do as complete it will be shown with a line through style so this is how we can create a simple to do app for the web and desktop using flutter so now you can also add the persistent storage to store the local data so for storing the data locally in browser you can use the shared preferences package and for storing the data locally on the desktop you can use the shared preferences or sqlite package to recap we covered how to set up flutter for both web and desktop created a simple to do app and looked at ways to handle platform specific code i hope this session gave you a strong foundation in using flutter beyond mobile don't forget to like subscribe and comment below with any questions or suggestions for future videos thank you and i'll see you in the next one